okay so last time we were looking at um, a single linked list and we saw the insert function in detail uh, so let us now look at the delete function uh, so we want to be able to delete uh, an element at any specific index so let us call that as a delete index okay so for example if this is the list 10, 5, 30, 7, 9 and we want to be able to delete uh, the element say 30 which is at index 2 uh, so again uh, there's no explicit indexing in the list so we have to keep track of uh, the elements as we traverse the list and we have to find, uh, keep track of it, uh, the index as we traverse the elements okay so um, now we'll use the current node pointer and previous node pointer as we did for in, uh, insertion. Now in addition we use, we'll use a third pointer called the next node pointer uh, that will be uh, useful to kind of delink the current node and uh, that's for the deletion purpose. So you'll understand the purpose of the pointer as we go through the process. So uh, I have kind of indicated here uh, using these figures uh, how the pointers are uh, set up as we go through this process and I'll just show you this and then also look at the code in detail uh, as we proceed. So initially the uh, current node pointer is going to point to the first data node which is the node next to the head node. Okay? So uh, then the previous node pointer is going to point to the head node. And the head pointer already is pointing to the head node too. So in addition to these two pointers, we'll have our next node pointer to also point to the head node. So all these things are done as part of initialization. Okay. Now, as I said, as we traverse the list, we'll use the index to kind of keep track of what node we are currently looking at. So when index is not equal to delete index, so that means we have not yet reached the node that we want to delete. This is how the uh, pointers will be looking at. So the current node pointer will be pointing to the node at which you are looking at. That's the, uh, it's, uh, it's the node where we have the index corresponding to. Then the previous node pointer will be pointing to the node that is previous to the current node. So that node will be considered to be at index minus 1. Then the node following the current node will be considered to be at index plus 1. So this is how the pointers will be pointing at the beginning of a loop as you traverse the list. Now at the end of that particular iteration the two pointers would have advanced to one node ahead. So the current node pointer will be pointing to the node at index plus one and the previous node pointer will be pointing to, to the node at index. Now when the index equals delete index, okay, so again the current node pointer will be pointing to the node corresponding to that particular index and the previous node pointer at the previous node. Now we'll make the next node pointer will point to the node uh, following the current node. Okay, so we have the three pointers pointing at the three subsequent nodes, and this is the node that that we want to kind of delete. Now, uh, as we, as you'll see in this code, by deletion we are not totally removing this node from the memory. We are going to kind of what is called isolate this node uh, logically or kind of delink this node from the list so that as we traverse the list from the head node we will be reaching the node at index minus 1 and the next node following that will be the node at index plus 1. So that's what we want to kind of accomplish. And we can accomplish that by setting the next node pointer value for this data node which is currently point, uh, having the value, uh, having the address of this node at index. So we will reset that to the address of this node at index plus one. And you, you remember the address of the nodes are stored in this pointer. So the previous node pointer, arrow set next node pointer will be set to now the next node pointer value here for the, this one. So that way you are delinking this current node. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing in the code. Uh, so let's look at the code and we'll go through this example also along with it. So initially to begin with, these are how the pointers are set up. 
So the current node pointer will point to the node next to the head node. So how can we do that? Head pointer points to the head node. Arrow to access that head node. Get next node pointer will return the next node address of the head node. So next node pointer value at the head node is 200. And that's the value that we are assigned to the current node pointer. So current node pointer is now storing the address of the node next to the head node. Then the previous node pointer is assigned is initialized to the value of head pointer. So head pointer is currently 100 pointing to the head node. So the previous node pointer also takes up that value. Then the next node pointer is also initialized to the head pointer value. So the next node pointer is also storing the value of 100 pointing to the head node and the index uh, local variable to keep track of the nodes that you are traversing is initialized to 0. So index is 0 means it corresponds to that we are currently processing the node at index 0. That's where the current node pointer is pointing to. So now we go through a loop to traverse the list uh, until we reach the index that we want to delete. So we'll make sure uh, the current node pointer is not null. <coughs> Uh, to get inside the loop. Uh, so initially, now right now it's 200, so it's not null, so we can get inside the loop. And the current node pointer always indicates the current node at which we are currently looking at corresponding to index. So index is 0 right now, and uh, let us assume delete index is 2. So we want to de de delete the node at index 2. Uh, so 0 not equal to 2, so we do not get inside this block. So we'll come out and to the rest of the uh, code inside the loop. So, so if index is not equal to delete index, all we have to do is simply advance the uh, current node pointer and previous node pointer to the next node. So this is similar to how we did in insertion. So we'll first move the previous node pointer to point to the current node. So previous node pointer is set to current node pointer. That means previous node pointer will be 200. And uh, then current node pointer is pointing is now assigned the value of the address of the next node. So how do we do that? Current node pointer arrow get next node pointer. So current node pointer is 200. Using that you can access this node and the next node pointer value at that node is 70. So current node pointer will be assigned the value 70. So this is how the two pointers will look like uh, after this. Okay. And then index is incremented so index will be 1 corresponding to the current node we are looking at. Now again go through the process, in, uh, check current node pointer is null, it's not null, so get inside the loop and check if index equals delete index. So index is 1, delete index is 2, so we are still not there. So uh, we will move the two pointers one node ahead. So we move the previous node pointer equals current node pointer, that means it is going to point to the current node and the current node pointer is set to the uh, address of the next node in the current node. So that is 900, so that will be the value of current node pointer. And index is incremented to 2. So now what will happen is, we have, uh, we check current node pointer is not null, it is not null. So get inside the loop and we see index equals delete index. So we have reached the node that we want to delete. Uh, so if you look at the code inside the if block, um, so this is the time for assigning the value for the next node pointer. So uh, we can get the uh, address of the node next to the current node. So current node pointer arrow get next node pointer will return this 500 as the address of the next node next to the current node. Right. So the current node pointer is here. So current node pointer arrow get next node pointer you will get this address 500 which is the address of the next node and assign that value to the next node pointer. So current node pointer is 900, its next node address is 500 and by the statement next node pointer equals current node pointer arrow get next node pointer, next node pointer takes up this value 500 and it will start pointing to this node next to the current node. So that's all we do inside the if block and we put a break there. So break means we'll exit from whatever the loop we are running inside so we'll run, exit from this while loop and when you come out of the while loop, this is the statement we have. And you see what we are doing here. The previous node pointer, arrow set next node pointer is assigned the next node pointer. So previous node pointer is 70, uh, storing the address of this node. 
its next node pointer is currently 500 and that is how it is linked to sorry as yeah, sorry its next next node pointer is currently 900 and that is how it is linked to this node now we are changing overwriting this 900 to 500 because 500 is the value of the next node pointer so when we overwrite this the next node address it will now can be considered to be linked to this node so previous node's next node pointer address is changed from 900 to this 500. So with that, we are so we are cutting off this link from this previous node to this current node. So if you think about it, when you, uh, if you want to traverse a list starting from head node, from the head node we can go to 10, then 5, and then from here we can go only to 7 and 9. So we are kind of what is called logically isolated this node of data 30. Now this link is still there and the node is also still there but we cannot re reach this node uh, anyway so that is how we kind of consider this node to be isolated or deleted from the list. Okay. Any question on this process of deleting a node at any index? So let us continue with um, so one last function you can see is iterate you print so basically you're going to print the nodes in the list the data so uh, now that you have gone through insertion deletion this process this should be easier to follow through uh, so we need only one loop for this uh, and we can accomplish this using the current node pointer. So the current node pointer stores the address of the node we are currently looking at and uh, we can print the date of that node. So begin the process by make, assigning the current node pointer to take the value of the address of the node next to the head node. And we can, so always we, that's the convention we follow, head node, head pointer, arrow, get next node pointer will get you the address of the node next to a head node stored in the head node so head node stores the address of the next node so that is 200 and that will be now the value of current node pointer then check if current node pointer is null if it is not null get inside the loop and just print the data at that current node so how we can do that current node pointer arrow get data will return the data value of that node say in this case it is 10 and then move the current node pointer to point to the address of the next node so we can do that by current node pointer arrow get next node pointer that will be getting you the value 70 and assign that back to the current node pointer current node pointer will then have 70 as its value so with that you can access the next node and keep going and print the data at each node and come out of the loop that's it okay any question on this? So let me save this video.